Okay, we're ready to get started with our second day of number talks today. Let's remember what our signal is. If you know the answer, show me what you should do. We're good. Some of us started to raise our hands, but then we remembered we were going to put thumbs up. Show me what the signal is for I'm still thinking. Excellent. Today I'm going to tell you one more thing about your signal. If you know the answer, you can do thumbs up. Yesterday we started talking about different strategies. Yesterday we solved some problems by using count on, counting on, make a 10, decomposing numbers. And today when you have your thumb up, if you've got your thumb up and we're still waiting, you can start to think of other ways. Maybe you've tried it by you doing counting on. Maybe you want to try to solve it a different way, a different strategy. If you know more than one way to do it, you can keep putting up a finger for all the ways that you know how to do it. So if I see your fingers like this, that might, that's telling me I know three ways to solve that problem. So once you know your answer, you can keep thinking of new ways to do it and show it with your fingers, okay? We ready for our first problem? Five plus five. Looking to see who has one way to solve it, who might have more than one way to solve it. Okay, Jayla, what's five plus five? How'd you figure that out? Okay, because it's a double. Knowing our doubles facts can help us solve problems we don't know, so it's very important that we know our double facts. Who can give me an example of another double fact besides 5 plus 5? Brianna? Um, 10 plus 7. 7 plus 7. We could have 10 plus 10, 20 plus 20. All of those doubles would help us. So we could solve this problem by using the strategy of using doubles. Who solves it a different way? Or who knew it a different way? Ethan? Um, I said if, there, if that equals 10, uh, I wanted to like, keep on going. I said... If 10 equals 20, you should try 15, it still equals 5, so I was making sure my work was right. Okay, so maybe you thought of, well, what if I had three fives, or uh, keep going on, I could use other facts to help me as well. You're right. Anyone use a different way besides doing the doubles? Aiden? I didn't have to say something like that. I know. So, 6 is one more than 5, so I know 5 plus 5 would be 2. Okay, so we've used doubles, and then you knew 5 plus 6 was 11, so that means 5 plus 5 would be 10. So if you didn't know the double 5 plus 5, you could use another fact if you knew 5 plus 6 is 11. Do you think that this fact could help us solve other problems? Yeah. Maybe. Let's take a look at this next one. 5 plus 6 plus 5. When you know it, thumbs up. Remember if you know more than one way? a lot of thumbs go up really quickly. Hunter, what's 5 plus 6 plus 5? 16. How'd you figure that out? Because 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 6 equals 16. So you took them, it's 5 plus 6 plus 5, and you changed the order and did 5 plus 5, and 5 plus 5 is 10, and 10 plus 6 is? 16. 16. What could we call that strategy that Hunter used? What might we call that, Michael? Make a ten. Make a ten. She made a ten. Why do we want to count? Why do we want to make a ten? Why would making a ten be helpful? Why is it good to make a ten, Desiree? Because a ten will, could, can make you be closer to that to that um, answer. Okay, so the ten is going to help us get closer to our answer. <laughs> What's very helpful about a ten? Why do we like tens, Karis? Okay, it makes things easier to add. Is it easy to add 10 plus 6 more? Yeah. Absolutely. So if I can find a 10, I just can add 6 on real quickly. It's very easy to add on to a 10. What else could we call that strategy? It wasn't just make a 10. How else could we call it? What other strategy could have been used to do that? Up here we did doubles and we made a 10 or we used other facts. So could we also call this a double? What double did we use? Five and five. Five and five. Who has another way that we could solve this? Faith? I remember that five plus six was eleven, then I added five more and it gave me a sixteen. Okay, how did you solve how did you figure out that eleven plus five was sixteen? Because I put the eleven in my head and I counted that five. Okay, so she used it counting on here to help her get from eleven to sixteen. Who solved it a different way? Did anyone do it a different way? Christina, what did you do? Um, I, I five plus five. Actually, I did. I knew that five plus five is eleven. So I added five more, and I got a sixteen. 
counting on five more, then I counted three, then I knew that was thirteen. Mm -hmm. And then I counted four more and that was seventeen. So I took away one and it equals sixteen. Okay, so you went on and went on four more to do 17, oops, four more to do 17, and then you took off the one. Now, you did a lot of changing around numbers for that. Can we do that with numbers? Yes. What might be the problem with do a, doing a lot of changing around of numbers? When we look, take a look at what Christina did, she added the three, and then she added four, and then she stepped back one. And when we look at these, a lot of times, sometimes we get confused with how we're talking about these numbers, but... Um, are we allowed to do that with numbers? Yes. Can it work that way? Yes. Yeah, we just want to keep careful to look at our steps and what we're doing. One more strategy. Aiden, what'd you do? Um, I knew 5 plus 5 plus 5 was 15, but I knew 6, six was 1 more than 5, so I added 5 plus 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 5 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 do we see, five, who sees a 5 plus 5 plus 5 in here? Does anyone see 5 plus 5 plus 5 in this problem? Do we see 5? Yes. yes. Plus 5? No. Is there a 5 inside there, though? Yes. What if we broke that 6 up and we broke it into 5 and what would be left? 1. One. So we've got 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15. And then what did Aiden do with that extra 1? He added it on. So he actually broke it up into all fives. Okay, last one we're going to look at today very quickly. Five plus nine plus five. Remember if you've already thought of one, think of another. Okay, Celeste, what's five plus nine plus five? How'd you figure that out? Five plus five is ten, and then ten more or nine more makes nineteen. What can we call that strategy that she used? What would you call it, Celeste? You used it as double, so she was thinking, I see a double I know. Could we call that strategy anything else? What else could we call that? Um, Landon? Make a ten. We could call make a ten because adding on to that ten made it really easy. Who did it a different way? Jayla, what did you do? Okay, so since you knew 4 plus 5 was 9, you knew 14 plus 5 would be 19. Okay, did anyone do it a different way, Faye? I made my 9 into a 10, and I knew that 10 plus 5 was 15, and then 15 plus 5, 9 plus 5 is 20, mm -hmm. so, and then I subtracted 20 from 1. And got 19. So she thought, ooh, you know, if this, this 9 is not a pretty number, is it? Nine's not easy to add on to things, is it? No. Not usually. So one way we can do that is we could change it to an easier number, right? Mm -hmm. Faith did that. She changed the nine into a ten. So she could do ten plus five and add on the five more. But then at the end, she had to take it back. Here at the beginning, to change the nine into a ten, what did she have to add to the nine? A one. A one. She had to do nine plus one to get it to turn into a ten. And then at the end, what did she have to do with that one? Take it back. She had to take it back. Does anyone know what we call that strategy, where you might add something on the front of the problem and then take it away at the end? Ethan? Make it a 10 and subtract 1. Well, you could call it make a 10 and subtract 1, because this happened to be a 10. But we may find later this week that you don't have to always do it with a 10. There's a big word for that. Anyone have a guess? Okay, that word is called compensation. Say that. Compensation. If you compensate someone, you pay them for what they did. If I come and I um, mow your grass for you this weekend and you want to compensate me for my time, you're going to pay me for it. Compensation with numbers means that I can give something at the beginning of the problem and take it back at the end or take something out at the beginning of the problem and put it back at the end. That's what Faith did. She said, this nine, I'm going to put one more with it to make the problem easier. And then at the end, I'm going to take it back out. I'm going to remember that I took it back out. 
you guys did a great job with number talks. Let's look back at our strategies today. Which ones did we have? Did we see counting on happen? Yes. Did we see making 10 happen? Yes. Yeah. Decomposing numbers. Were yes. we decomposing numbers? No. Yes. Where yes. did we decompose numbers? Six. Here, that six, we changed it into a five and a one. So we had some decomposing of numbers there. And then we learned this new strategy word. What's this strategy word? Compensation. Compensation. Faith might have introduced us to something that we should really try the next few um, days. You guys did a great job today, and we'll do another number talk tomorrow. Good job, guys. Goodbye.